Hey y'all, it's Cameron with a K, and this is my first episode of College Series. I'm super excited. Yay! So thank you for the person that gave me this question. The question was basically how to juggle making time for yourself, family, friends, working, and of course college. Um, that's a really tough question because it kind of just varies person to person, but I'm going to give my um, personal preference, I guess you could say. I'll give a little background. So um, in 2013, um, spring semester January, I got an internship, so I was like, yay, I'm super excited even though getting an internship my sophomore year was crazy because I was still trying to figure out college. Honestly, I was still trying to juggle how to do all these classes, so I'm taking five classes, right? And I'm doing an internship at a law firm. And then I also realized um, this internship wasn't paying me, uh, so I had to get a job. So I also was a receptionist at a car dealership. So that's 15 credit hours, five classes. An internship working and juggling, trying to volunteer and organization and staying involved in campus, having a social life, family, friends, like, ah, like, that was crazy. So um, during that time, of course, my grades definitely did drop because when you're taking, when you're doing something um, other than school, it's going to take away from you being able to study you being able to really listen in class because you're going to be tired. So I can definitely say my grades dropped. And honestly, it's so hard to get it back up. They didn't drop super bad, but um, they did drop. So, so juggling work, uh, you have to know when um, to let your job know. Like, I need this day off. I have an exam. Or um, take mental health days. My mom used to let me do that in high school. And I was like, what is a mental health day? Basically, you just need to stay home and not go anywhere. You don't do it all the time. Don't start skipping class. I need a mental health day. That's not how it works. If you're really like just bombarded, like you had three exams, you had two homework assignments, you just had, I don't know, practice for your athletic something, I don't know. But sometimes you need a mental health day. And I definitely take those and I'll call into work like, hey, I'm just not feeling well. And yeah, and usually I'm really not feeling well because I'm tired. But I try not to do that very often. I can't even remember the last time I did that, honestly. Now, as far as family members, like my family's pretty much spread out around like United States. So... We don't spend as much time together, but my mom, I make sure I call her every day. Either I'm headed to work, leaving work, um, going to class or something like that. But yeah, I call my mom every day and talk to her every day. Not all day now. She will talk my ear off. <laughs> Love you, mom. Facebook but and social media is actually a really good way for, like, my family at least, to stay involved with each other and see what's going on. We'll post statuses, pictures, and everybody's, like, so involved with that. And I feel like that's a really good way to stay in contact with family members. So don't give up on Facebook. As far as friends, I am so blessed and so lucky to have, like, a great group of friends and best friends. Like, my real friends and my best friends, like, shout out to y'all because I love y'all. Y'all are there at my weakest moments, my best moments, and I hope I'm there for you guys at those moments, too. Um, I really value my friends, and because most of us are kind of in the same place in life, and we're pretty busy... So when I'm busy, I don't feel like, dang, like I haven't talked to so-and-so, or dang, she hasn't talked to me. Like, I don't have time for clingy friends. Uh, I'm sorry. I know that sounds kind of bad. Maybe clingy isn't the right word. But I don't want a friend that's like, oh, you haven't talked to me today, and it's like, I'm tired. Like, I just left work. I'm just lucky to have friends that understand, like, I'm busy, they're busy, and we make time for each other when we can, and when we have those moments, it's the best. Like, honestly, when we see each other, it's like, it's like we haven't even missed a day or missed a step. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so I love them. Um, yeah, they're the best, and it's really good to have a group of friends like my best friends. I can talk to them about basically anything, and um, a lot of them are in different majors and different fields. Some have graduated, so it just feels good to have people to go to to get advice on things like relationships, school, work, and just event. It's just great. Like, I can, we could sit, literally sit in my apartment and not do anything and have the best time, or go out to the club and have the best time. So, that's really good. Um, it really so that really hasn't affected um, my schoolwork so much as having friends. But um, I am a ride or die friend. Like I don't know when you're my friend. Like you're my friend. Like I care about you. Like I will go to the ends of the earth and the moon to handle whatever you need to be handled. I got you back. So shout out to my real friends, and my best friends. Love y'all. Okay, so um, school and trying to find time for yourself. <sighs> so your friends, of course, you want to hang with them when you can. And then family, it's like you love them. Like, that's your blood. So whenever there's a family function, I try my best to make it. Um, but, I mean, I fall short, don't we all? And sometimes I have to make the decision. Like, you know, no, I'm going to have to stay home today. I'm going to have to, just like I was saying about the mental health day, I'm going to have to do something that I like to do. Go get my nails done. Go get my eyebrows done. Have some me time. I think me time is so, 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 so important, especially during college. Because college is stressful. 
So when I'm home in my apartment, usually I spend most of the time when I'm here, like, if I am in the living room watching TV or in my room with the door closed in silence. Or, like, sometimes I drive and I don't listen to music because all day, every day, I'm, like, dealing with people. So when I'm, like, by myself, I just want, like, to think. Like, I just want, like, so some ways... So some ways I handle stress is I go to the gym, especially now I'm getting a lot more um, consistent with the gym and healthy eating, and I feel like that really has helped me with my attitude. Real quick, like, I don't know if y'all, I've been trying, I've been trying to attitude. That was part of my New Year's resolution was to work on my attitude. So I feel like the gym really helps with the stress, as well as, like I said, pampering days, um, just literally sitting at home and doing nothing. Like, I love nothingness. And also getting a really good night's sleep. Like, I will go to sleep early. Your girl be knocked out, y'all. I, I don't have time to be up in these streets. But, yeah. So, that really has helped me. My number one stress reliever would be the gym, definitely. Another thing that has really helped me with stress is actually YouTube. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and I always have. But starting a channel, like, it's a lot of fun. And it's become, like, this really, really, really fun hobby of mine. Like, I got into hair um, because I went natural. And I'm like, I'm a college student. I'm not about to pay 100 plus or however much. I'm not paying no money if I can figure out how to do my hair myself. So, that's kind of how I got into doing hair. Um, and I really like it. And doing things that you like really help with stress, too. Especially, like, different hobbies. Like, I was so into theater when I was younger, and I haven't really had time to be able to audition or do anything like that. So, hair has become my new favorite hobby. So, I love it. It's just great. And the whole YouTube world is fantastic. I'm learning so much. And I really hope to continue to grow. But, yeah, that's definitely one of my stress relievers. Another stress reliever that I have is actually my boyfriend. Um, believe it or not, as much as he stresses me out, um, he's really a great stress reliever. He's always there to listen, just like my best friends and my friends are. But um, I just love being around him. And he really brings, like, a good spirit around me. And he'll work out with me and listen to all my stupid drama. And he'll just be like, Karen, relax, chill. You just need to relax and be positive. So he is definitely one of my stress relievers as well. So, yeah. Love you, boo. As far as trying to plan how to schedule everything and time management with your friends, family, and work, I make to-do lists for the week, and then I also make to-do lists per day. So, daily I'll make a to-do list, and if I hit all the points, that's great. And then by the week, I make sure that I definitely hit all the main goal points that I wanted to finish that week. And I feel like that has really helped me um, this year, my senior year, with um, keeping everything intact. Because senior year comes with a whole lot of, like, it comes with a whole lot of things, y'all. It's stressful, like... Graduation is approaching. It's just scary. Like, oh my God, it's the real world. So, um, I have to make a to-do list. And sometimes I put, like, you know, make sure I talk to one of my friends. Make sure I talk to, it's the birthday, da, da, da. You have to do that. Like, it doesn't mean, like, I'm forgetting or I don't care. It just means, like, literally, I'm just busy. And I really don't want to forget your birthday. I really don't want to forget, like, something epic that I need to do for my friends or family. Um, or definitely not for work. So, to-do lists are a lifesaver. My planner is, like, the real MVP. If you so, know, like, you have that person that's going to stress you out, don't talk to them if you stress. Like, sometimes you just got to ignore people. I'm sorry, I will block you. But um, it's like that sometimes. Just kidding. Not my friends. Well, my real friends. I'm not best friends. But some of the other people, like, they can get blocked. Um, I have a boyfriend. So, like, being in a relationship in college is, like, a whole different ball game. So, I'm going to make a separate uh, college series video about that. Because I feel like that's just a huge topic and I could go on and on about boyfriend, girlfriend, relationships, da 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 in college, how stressful that is, how great it is, and everything in between. So definitely look out for them. So keep school first. Organize, organize, organize. Time management. Stay encouraged. Stay determined. Um, every once in a while I'll do a uh, short-term goal and long-term goal and monthly goal or year goal. And I feel like those really like help. Because then I can like, oh, yeah, I marked off this goal. Or, oh, yeah, I did this. I did this. And I feel like that just feels good. Everybody wants to feel accomplished. So definitely stay motivated. I feel like self-motivation is number one. Like, other people can motivate you. But being able to motivate yourself is amazing. It feels really good. Because it feels like, you know, I can do this. I can accomplish this. And me being as independent, like I try to be. I try to be very independent. Um, I just love the feeling of, like, I did it myself. And it just feels good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it about this. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer, question, comments, concern, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. And leave your comments below in the comment section. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Later.